Hey guys, what's going on? It is the Shrothinator here, and I'm here to talk about the clinch overalls that were released by EA Sports uh, today. I know the video is a little late, but I was at work when they released them. So now I wanted to do um, also mention I did end up saying that the clinch overalls are tied up with the stand up overalls. That's how it was last game. And it looked like that's what it was going to be this game, too, because when they showed the fighter models and stuff like that in the roster reveal, it showed, um, it showed, like, three overall things and a complete overall thing. Of course, complete overall shows their total overall, like, what overall they are. And then the three things were supposed to, you know, should be stand-up, ground, and submission, just like last game. But, um... I don't know, it doesn't really seem like they're doing that. They're going to be leaving a different stat out to put uh, Clinch there. Or maybe they'll put submissions inside of a ground game. I don't know what they're going to do exactly. I, I have no idea what the hell <laughs> they're going with there. But they did release um, Clinch stats. Uh, not stats, overalls. My bad. That's completely different. <laughs> but they did release Clinch overalls. Uh, that will not have any effect on regular stand-up, so that's very good. Now, still, Conor McGregor's overall being 99 for stand-up is ridiculous, because that means literally everything is at max, almost. Almost literally everything. Just fucking... That's absolutely absurd. Um, for any fighter to have. Now... For, um, I'm going to go ahead and read off from number 10 to number 1, just like I did with the stand-up thing. Go, um, starting from the bottom up, tell you who the best clinch uh, specialists are in this game. Number 10, you got Demetrius Johnson. Number 9, you got Shad Mendez. Number 8, Holly Holm. Number 7, Rafael Dos Anjos. Number 6, Henry Cejudo. 5, John Jones. 4, GSP. Three Ronda Rousey, two Khabib Nurmagomedov, and number one Daniel Cormier. Now Demetrius Johnson's at a 93 clinch overall. Chad Mendez, Holly Holm, and Rafael Dos Anjos are all at a 94 overall for clinch. You got Henry Cejudo, John Jones, and GSP all at a 95 overall for clinch. Then you got Ra Rousey at a 96. Habib at a 97 and Cormier at a 98. Now I'm going to tell you that I disagree with these as well. The fact that Henry Cejudo is on here is a little ridiculous. Yes, I think he's a great grappler, of course. He's one of the better. He's probably the best pure wrestler besides Demetrius Johnson, because Demetrius Johnson is the best at everything in uh, flyweight. But Henry Cejudo, Henry Cejudo, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm really not professional, so <laughs> you guys should know that by now. Um, yeah, Cejudo, I don't think should be on there at all, considering he's not really... I mean, he's not really that great, I and mean, he just struggled with his last opponent, and I believe he just won a... Tw I think it was a unanimous 29-28 decision, but I mean, it wasn't... I mean, he hasn't shown anything in the UFC so far that's been really impressive with any sort of aspect of his martial arts. Shown that he's a good wrestler and everything, but that's pretty much it. I don't think he should be on the top list for any of these types of things that they're releasing. Um, my question is, where the fuck's Anderson Silva and Jose Aldo in this? <laughs> you know? I mean, their grappling, of course, is great. Their striking in there is even better. You know, Condit should be up there, too. Maybe even Cerrone. Um, I mean, there's so many more guys instead of Cejudo and even Mendez that could be better in the clinch and shit. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and Holm even. I, we haven't really even seen Holm in the clinch much at all, so... It's just, it's just invalid, really, is what it is. There's just... This is why I even asked them today... I think it was, it was today or yesterday, um, Jazz confirmed that we, they won't end up adding it in or anything for us to, you know, set the overalls how we want it offline. Now I'm really hoping they do it for next game then, because it's awful. I mean, they, it's just like 2K. Like, 2K doesn't know how to do overalls properly either, and it's, it really pisses me off. It's not an opinion, it's a fact that they don't know how to do overalls correctly. I love... 
I love the EA um, devs and everything a lot. I mean, they're they're awesome. They're always uplifting and shit. They're always um, you know, trying to get back to you, trying to fix the problems. But this is one thing they're not gonna fix unless guys lose. Like if McGregor loses Nene Diaz, his overall will go down. I don't know exactly which weight class or if it'll affect any of the weight classes that are in the game currently. But um. You know, if Cormier loses to Jones, will his clinch go down? Probably. It depends on how the fight goes, I guess. Um, but yeah, that that's a thing I mentioned in a previous video like a month or two ago, maybe even two months ago. I'm not sure exactly when I released that video. But I talked about how they will be updating the roster's attributes as they fight. So like, after Jones and Cormier, after that fight takes place, of course, if it takes place, which it most likely will, even though it's scheduled, it may... There may be an injury, you never know. Um, but, you know, after that fight's over, probably a month or two later, they'll update it to the point where their overalls will be a little bit different. Maybe not their total overall, it might be the same. Maybe not enough uh, changes in the fight to change that shit, but... We'll have to see. We'll have to see how they, how they do it. And I'll be sure to point out the little things that they do, just so you guys can get the right idea. But yeah, like, I personally... I, I don't agree with the stand-up overalls a lot. Like, there's very few of them that I saw that I agreed with. And that's kind of how I am with the clinch. It just doesn't make sense sometimes. Like, it, it really doesn't. I think Cormier definitely deserves one of the highest clinches. The highest clinch, though? I don't know about that. Same with Habib. I don't think his should be that high. But we're going to have to see how it all works. Um, we're going to have to see how it all plays out. See if the game plays too bad, like, OP, too OP with certain characters like McGregor. If you're using McGregor at stand-up, it's probably gonna be absolutely ridiculous using him, and it's gonna be, like, OP, kind of like Jones and Brow was, basically, for the last game. So, yeah, like, Anderson Silva, Jose Aldo, those are two fighters that specifically should have been on that list that were not. Um, Condit may, may have, yeah, I would say Condit should have been on the list a little bit, maybe even. Um, maybe not, because I don't think his clinch grappling is the best. His clinch, his clinch striking, though, is absolutely great. But, yeah, like, again, like, I'm gonna keep bashing the overalls thing, because it's, it's the main thing that needs bashing. Um, uh, I'm gonna give my honest opinion all the time. I'm not gonna just suck up to EA and say, oh, all this shit's awesome and shit. I'm gonna speak my mind, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them what's ridiculous and not correct. Just like these overalls, like I, I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to support the game and I'm going to love it. Because um, I know it's going to be great, but this is something I can't let go. <laughs> is the overalls and how horrible this looks already. They did very well for the overalls in the first game. Though there is definitely some guys, like Michael Chiesa didn't deserve a 90 overall whatsoever. But they're, I mean, for the most part, they did very well. Like I thought they got Condit and Woodley almost perfect, you know, for the time that they had for the game or whatever. At the time it was released, I thought there was a decent amount of people they did very good with. Um, but yeah, mistakes are made. Hopefully they'll learn from this mistake. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And of course, subscribe. I'll see you all next time.